everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Linda and I do post weekly about fashion. And so if you're into that sort of thing, maybe stick around and consider subscribing. And if you're returning, then welcome back. Thank you for coming back. And let's go into what today's video is about. Today's video is about black bags. I surprisingly don't have that many black bags compared to all my other colors, but I do have six black bags, which I think it's important because when you just need that bag that's not going to be a pop of color, that's not going to conflict with your outfit, you need that. I feel like I might as well start off with the bag, the bag that pretty much everyone either already has or is on everyone's list. It's a sophisticated bag and even though it's a sophisticated bag, I'll wear it for any occasion. It is, and if you know Chanel, then you know what bag this is. This would be the classic flap and I have it in the medium size. I actually do keep this one in the dust bag. I know, it just makes me feel better that way. Also, because I don't really wear it a lot, I wouldn't mind wearing it a lot, but I just don't. Because I have so many bags, I'm able to rotate them a lot. But this is just, I had to have this bag. This is actually my very first Chanel. And I actually do have the protective little felt that comes with it. That's just how I store it. And, and... Here she is, she's in the lambskin with the silver hardware. I got this bag in Barcelona when I went there with my mom. It's got this little zipper compartment here that you can pretty much fit like coins or letters. And it's the double flap, so here's that. Oh, so first flap, second flap, and then you've got this little front compartment. And you've got here, I don't know what I have in there. I always kind of just keep random stuff in my bags. Oh, money in that one too. And then it has this little back, I think they call it the Mona Lisa pocket. It doesn't really fit a whole bunch. Like, it definitely doesn't fit my phone. Just so you can see, it definitely does not. And so, yeah, this is such a classic bag. I mean, that's the name, classic flap, but... I love this bag. I'm so happy it was my very first Chanel purchase. I was going to go with a boy bag for my first bag, but I told myself, you know what, this is your very first Chanel. Let's stick with a classic and then later on get anything else. And I'm actually so happy I did that because now I'm not as into the boy bag as I used to be. I still think it's a beautiful bag, but it doesn't quite do it for me like it did before. I used to love it. I had to have it. And then now I honestly, I'm just, I'm happy that I went with this one for my first bag. So yeah, this is definitely highly, highly recommended. You can wear this pretty much at any age in your life. I feel like I'm definitely going to want to wear this when I'm like 80 years old. Pass it on down through the family. Just great, great bag. Next, we have another Chanel. And this bag I love because it's functional so so functional i use this bag when i travel it is a vintage camera bag and so it has two slip pockets which if you know me you know how much i love slip pockets so it has a front slip pocket a back slip pocket and i did get this pre-loved since it is vintage and it came authenticated which if you know, I always try to get everything authenticated if I do go the pre-loved route. And so this one I'm just so, so very happy with because, for example, I took this to Paris in January 2020. And in this front one, I had like my mittens because it was so cold. In the back one, I had like my hand warmer, my phone, I had keys. And so this is just the outer pockets. Everything was like easily accessible. Then in the front, the middle, the main compartment, we have and don't judge me it is filled totally totally full it's heavy actually it has louis receipts because i went to louis vuitton and then i just left the receipts in there ah i was looking for this this is also from louis i had it hot stamped and this is usually where i keep my euros yeah it's where i have all my euros 
and then my passport holder this one's from kate spade i've been considering getting a louis one what do you guys think let me know but off topic but yeah this one my sister gave me and i love it it's so cute and i was thinking of getting a louis one because why not and then well i don't have to show you everything but just so you can see how spacious it is this bag fits so so much it has an inner pocket the other side has a zipper compartment of zipper pocket sorry and yeah it just it fits a lot i love this one it is vintage so uh, i mean good luck finding one similar but i would just look for a chanel camera bag and i've seen several that are very very similar to this so my next bag this is another bag that i consider a classic and that i could not wait to get my hands on it is the fendi peekaboo in the mini size and with the wave design honestly fendi peekaboos are like my favorite bags ever i love fendi's peekaboos i think the leather is incredible it's like supple it's so so soft it's just butter i love it. i could just eat this bag and so i felt like this one i definitely wanted in the black i have four five peekaboos but the mini size is my favorite size and then this one's just incredible and then i went ahead and got a little fendi twilly for it or bandeau whatever you want to call it just to give it a pop of color even though it doesn't need it because the wave on the inside is this nice light blue but yeah this bag is a must have in any of the sizes they come in the micro the mini the regular and the large i think that's all the sizes that they have and yeah the mini i find fits a lot so on one side it's just got a little slip pocket and then on the other side it's got a zipper pocket and just so you can see for size i have the iphone um what is this it's kind of like the plus size i guess and it fits with absolutely no issues i love this bag it comes with a crossbody strap although i also like to just hold it from its little top handle which is not detachable by the way and the handle for it oh it's inside i just have it in there but honestly if you're gonna get a bag get the Fendi Peekaboo. I love it. And it's so understated. It's just one of those bags that's classy. It's so amazing. And once you touch it, you will know why I love it so much. I mean, I, I can't even capture the beauty that is this bag. Highly, highly recommend. On to my most used bag in my collection my valentino clutch with chain i honestly don't have a bag that i use more than this because every date night i'm like what what do i use and i end up grabbing this one including probably tonight i'm going to go for date night and change out of my mickey shirt and i'll probably end up wearing this one because it is elegant it's sexy it's also just appropriate for like a typical nighttime outfit and so this bag is my I would buy this a million times over bag highly highly recommend and I know I say that for every bag but I mean it from the bottom of my heart so this bag is not your typical wallet on chain it is huge it I think it's called wallet on chain on the website but oh no look at how big this is I don't have any other wallet that's this big. I don't have many wallet on chains because I don't like that they don't fit much, but this is definitely not the problem with this one. It has a zipper compartment, zipper pocket, I keep calling it a compartment. It's got all these card slots, one, two, three, four, five. So it's got technically eight card slots, and then this back one is just a big one where you can put your cash. It's got this gorgeous chain that Valentino's known for. Phone fits and then with the phone you still can fit a lot more in there sorry it just like started raining or something so loud okay so that's with the phone in it as you see it closes with no issues and here's that beautiful chain i was telling you about so you can see look how gorgeous that is and like I said, this is my most used bag. Like I try to force myself to not use it. I'll come over to my shelves, I'll go to grab it, and I'm like, no, no, today you are, you're gonna give this next bag a chance, which is actually the bag I'm gonna show you next. If I need a black bag and I'm trying to get away from this one, sometimes I grab this next one. So this is, again, the Valentino Wallet on Chain. This is in that like velvety suede material and the gold rock studs. 
and I don't have any of the issues a lot of people keep complaining about other than sometimes like my dog hair will stick to it and that's about it but who's really looking that hard at your bag you know and people always compliment me even though they have no idea what it is like a lot of people aren't too familiar with Valentino and it's not like it says it anywhere you just know if you know the studs then you'll usually know it's Valentino but people compliment me and be like what a beautiful bag and so yeah highly recommend next bag is my Jimmy Choo bag I don't know that it has a name but it's a beautiful bag um I don't use it that much at all I'm not gonna lie but it's cute and I I don't know why I don't to be honest it has a top handle it also has a long crossbody strap it opens like that when you pinch there so it has this really pretty blue lining I have the crossbody strap in there which actually attaches from right in here and so this is a great bag I have its dust bag also in there it has this middle zipper compartment and it's such a functional bag it fits loads of things in here and I just I need to start wearing it more which is why sometimes I reach for this one instead of my Valentino because I'm kind of forcing myself to use other bags and because it is also black with gold hardware like the last bag and on to the last but not least bag um, this is just one of the newer bags of my collection. I got it last year. So it's the newest Valentino. I think it's the newest Valentino that I have. And it is the Glam Lock. It's in the, I think it's the mini size, which is super small as you can see. It's like kind of tiny, but it is actually, I think, I think it's the smallest bag I own. Yeah, I, it is the smallest bag I own. Uh, I love this bag because it has black hardware and so I feel like this could match with whatever you're wearing it's not gonna clash with your jewelry or anything else like here with my actually this matches perfect with the last two bags because it's black and gold but I could wear it with this as well only problem is it really doesn't fit an awful lot so you pinch there open it up I have this little black dust bag in there it's the noir that's what it was called like the mini glam lock in the noir so also the dust bag is black also the logo on the inside is black which i thought was pretty cool you probably can't see it and i'll show you the chain so pretty right here it is just to show you next to the chain from the gold valentino the black and gold so yeah so this one for size reference oh geez, my phone's still in the other valentino it's like where did that go glad I caught that I'd probably leave the house and be like where on earth did my phone go okay so my phone yeah it's not gonna happen it's not gonna fit in there just so you can watch the struggle okay never say never it did fit but I guess because I changed the case from the last time I tried this it doesn't fit well that's for sure so yeah it's like slanted and forced and it closed hey okay well i mean still extremely inconvenient and then you can't uh oh so yes yeah, so i'm struggling to open it now so yes uh i wouldn't put my phone in there that would be really hard imagine your phone's ringing and you're like hold on one sec no and so yeah so this i would probably just put my little card holder lipstick and maybe my keys yeah I think just those three things would fit and then just keep your phone out um I still don't plan on selling this bag even though it is so tiny just because it's so cute to look at I mean look at it such a cute little bag adorable and so that was my sixth bag and honestly I started making myself buy more black bags because when I first started my bag collection I didn't have almost any black bags in fact, the first of all of these was, I think, either the Jimmy Choo or the Chanel of my first black bags, which is pretty crazy because usually people have all black bags and maybe one color. With me, it's quite the opposite, as you can see. I just, I, I like color. I like color a lot, and so you can definitely see that reflected in my choice of bags. But there's always times where you need that black bag to go with maybe your little black dress or to just not conflict with anything. And I think that all of these bags I would highly recommend. And if there's one from all of these that I think that 
I would like for you to take away that is amazing, it would be the Valentino because its price isn't that crazy compared to some of the others, like the Chanel, for example, like either of the Chanel's. And yet this is still extremely functional and very elegant. I've worn it in the daytime. I mostly wear it in the nighttime. It fits a lot for what it is. And so definitely, definitely this one would be the one that I would say if you take anything out of this, this one. The other ones are of course like must haves later on but if you are trying to pick and you're on a budget i would say that one it's still amazing an amazing bag and so if you ever want to see me do like a try on like what a, how i would style my outfit with these bags let me know and i'll make a video for that i do hope you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did and i will catch you all for next week's video bye